Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about looking at your Cricut cut images or cut files in a slightly different way than just what you would normally see uh, so that you can get even more use out of the Cricut images. All right. So um, what you see here on my screen is this is an example of a free cut file that's called it's floral and I think it's by Creative Bug and it's this beautiful little lacy pattern okay of floral and normally you would look at this and think okay well I could cut that out of paper and I could put it on top of a piece of cardstock I could cut it out of some vinyl and or some heat transfer vinyl and put it on a project okay um, so those would be three uses that might come to mind pretty readily, okay? What I wanted to show you though was using it in two different ways so that you could use this and actually take that same image and slice it on a piece of cardstock to create a negative or a um, stencil, okay? Or you could take that same image and change it to a writing file and be able to make backgrounds out of it. All right. So those are a couple of things I wanted to show you today. So let's go in. I'm going to go into File New. And I want to go into Insert Images. And let's look at Categories because I know that that was a Creative Bug project. So if you haven't looked at categories yet, that Cricut has, I guess you would call them themes, and you look at categories, and let's say you're not quite sure what you're looking for, it's a great way to kind of get a broad topic here um, of choices. Now, this is the image, and it is free, so I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to add it to my mat. Okay. Now, Here's the mat. I'm going to use insert shapes. And I'm going to go over to my layers panel and I want to make this, let's say I want to make it card size. So I want to make it um, 4 by 5.25. Okay. I'm going to leave this dark so you can see it. Uh, and I will expand my view here so that it looks better for you. And now I want to size my um, the the actual image that we're using. So I want to go back in over here to my edit panel. And since this was four, I'm going to make it a quarter of an inch smaller because we're going to be slicing. Um, so 3.75, and this one was um, 5 inches so I'll make that 4.75 okay so now it has created an image that I can lay on top of this basically card piece or card stock piece that I was thinking of so I want to right click on this I'm sorry click on the the actual image right click on it and say move to front so it'll it'll lay over the top of this okay now some of you have maybe not used the align feature yet, so let me clue you in about that. If I highlight images, my align feature pops up here in the, men in the menu, okay? So if you click on align, it gives you a bunch of choices. You can align something to the left, you can center it horizontally, you can align it to the right, to the top, to the bottom. Uh, align on the bottom or you can center the whole thing the top one will be centered on whatever the bottom piece is okay so I'm going to hit center and what it's done is that it has moved this so that it is exactly the same distance around from the edges okay which is exactly what I would want it to do for using slice okay because I want to have it completely sliced out of the middle of this so I'm going to left click with my mouse on the on the design then I'm going to hit control and I'm going to hit left click of my image okay and now when I go to my layers panel my slice feature is now available so I'm going to slice it 
and it'll take a second. There's lots of little detail on here. And it's taking it's taking a second. Okay. So when it sliced the image out, don't freak out <laughs> because it'll change to whatever your background was. But all you have to do is pull this off and now I have sliced this image out of this cardstock or whatever material it is that I'm using. I could do it on HTV, uh, on heat transfer vinyl or vinyl and just have this as an outline. So now I've created this beautiful um, negative image, I guess you would call it. I could use this for a stencil now. If I cut this out of stencil material um, and then I could go in and I could stipple different inks on top of these colors and then and then take this off and then you would have the coloring you know on whatever surface it was that you were doing it so you could you could paint you could paint over this um, and so this is created is created it like it's a stencil or it's just a beautiful cutout image that you could apply to something okay so that's that's one way to look at it um, and be able to use those images in a different way you could create a beautiful background, right? Um, let's go back in. And sorry, I should have saved a, an image again. Well, we're just going to go grab this one again. All right, so I'm going to go in and find that same image again. I'm going to add it back on my mat. Put that up there. I'm going to do another insert shape. And now what I want to show you is how am I going to, how could I change this to a writing file so I could use my pens and instead of cutting it out, it will just draw the image. So I want to change the size of my cardstock base. I'm just calling it cardstock for now. So that would need to be a four inch and a five and a quarter. Okay, so now it's five and a quarter, so it's four inches wide and it's five and a quarter high. And now I want to size this one so that it is a half an inch, I mean a quarter of an inch smaller. So I'm going to unlock it. It was four inches, so I'm going to make that 3.7, and it was five and a quarter inches, so I want to make that five inches high. Now I'm going to lay this on top, just like we did with the other one to get this to go on top. I'm going to right click and go down to move. It moves that image over the front. Okay. Now we're going to use that align feature again, and um, I'm going to highlight this, and the align feature comes up. When I hit align, I'm going to hit center, and now it has moved that so it is exactly a quarter of an inch all the way around. Okay. Earlier what I showed you was you can left click on your image and then hold down the control key and then left click on the background to get it highlighted. What the next thing I wanted to show you was if I do if I just put my cursor around it and go back to layers, I also have the slice feature available, okay? But I don't want to slice it now. What I want to do is I want to change this so that instead of it being a cut file in my layers panel, I want this to be to write with a pen. So I'm going to change the scissors from a cut line up here to a writing line. Okay, and I'm going to change my background to white just so you can see it easier. Okay, isn't that awesome? So now I have this image in a, as a writing file, and I'm going to highlight both of them again, and I want to go in and I want to attach it, because I want this to write on top of this piece of paper. Okay, But you can go in and you can change the color of the pen if you want to see if you did it in a different pen color. It just makes a beautiful background. So think about your, your Cricut images in a different way than just cutting out cardstock or vinyl and layering this or whatever. Think about using them 
by slicing and creating a negative to make a stencil, by changing the file to a, to a writing file, um, by using it on different materials. There's so much you can do with the different Cricut images. So I hope you found this helpful. And um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section. And of course, you can find me over at the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group where I hope you'll join us if you're not already a member. And you can always find me at my website at scrapmequickdesigns.com. Thanks a lot. Hope I inspired you. Have a great day. Bye.